First at 10 tonight for nearly a year, Kentucky's search warrant process has been under scrutiny. Today, months after a search warrant task force was announced, we now know who will be on it. WDRB's Breon Martin asked some of them about the policies they want to investigate. Breon? We don't know when they will meet just yet. They tell me they're eager to take on the state search warrant policy sooner rather than later. In January, Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron created a task force to review the state search warrant policies in the wake of the Breonna Taylor shooting. More than a year after her death, we know who is on that team. The community of Louisville and the Commonwealth went through a very difficult process this last year. I think that this is an opportunity to bring parties to the table. The team includes members of the judiciary, legislators, law enforcement, prosecutors, the public advocate, local officials, the NAACP, and even citizens picked by Cameron. Former Councilwoman Denise Bentley says there's a benefit to the variety. This is the opportunity for people to come to the table, work together to figure out how we improve the search warrant process so that citizens, police, and the community are all safe in this process. Kentucky State Senator Whitney Westerfield, also a member, hopes the task force will investigate more specific implementations of Senate Bill 4. Senate President worked on Senate Bill 4 uh, spoke with a slew of stakeholders and built consensus around a bill that I think is a really uh, a tremendous effort to improve the execution and the use of uh, no-knock warrants and to restrict the use of those warrants uh, and to heighten the responsibility for law enforcement when they exercise uh, such warrants. And maybe revisit the effectiveness of Kentucky e-warrants, which former Governor Steve Bashir once said would modernize policing in the Commonwealth in 2010. I don't know if it's been overhauled and updated since way back then, uh, or if they're still using the same system, using the same vendor, uh, and if it still has the same capacities and the same limitations that it had back in 2010. 11 and 2012. Cameron announced that none of the officers involved in the apartment raid would be criminally charged for Brianna Taylor's death in September. Don't shoot! Say her name! Brianna Taylor! Her passing sparked months of protest and cries for racial justice, and while this team was put together in the aftermath, its makeup is of note. 18 people, just two women, and three people of color, 14 white men. Today, Cameron said the task force fulfills a promise, quote, to develop best practices for the effective and safe execution of search warrants. Brian Martin, WDRB News.